we're going to soak. So basically that just means if you're new to this, um, you're going to connect with God and uh, let all of this sort of settle within you. And um, respond to God and let him respond to you. All right, Holy Spirit. You see the chatter, you see the all the things that just came to the surface, you see the images, the memories, the questions. If there is even like self-doubt or guilt or shame that came up tonight, like I just ask that you would eradicate it right now in the name of Jesus Christ, because in Christ there is no condemnation. In Christ there is no condemnation. In Christ, there is no condemnation. There is only freedom. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And you start to see right now this, this darkness, this heaviness, literally like pop off of you. It's like popping off. Like these, yeah, it's a heaviness. It's, it's even like these grave clothes. Like it, it's like... You used to be like Lazarus, where it felt like you were dead. And then Jesus says, come out. Come out, daughter. And you walk, you walk out. You get up and you walk out. Watch yourself right now in your mind. See yourself walking out of the dullness. Walking into fullness. And feel the grave clothes fall off of you. Feel the freedom. It's like you you can breathe. Even right now, just take a deep breath. the Ruach breath of God in your lungs that gives you life. So Holy Spirit, will you silence chatter, uh, regret? Like, forget it. Silence it. In the name of Jesus Christ, And when you invoke a feeling of celebration, a feeling of newness, a feeling of pride in the sense that she came tonight, you came tonight because it is a new beginning. You know that a door is closing. You're going to walk out of it gracefully. And we're going to enter this season where we're going to check, check, check. Because it is time for the daughters to rise up. We need clear-minded, vision-oriented, hungry women in the earth. So Holy Spirit, would you um, soften. Would you soften our bodies? Soften um, our throat? Lord, open it up. There's tears that need to come out that we're holding in our stomach or our chest or our throat. Would you release them right now? Let them just come out. Let them be cleansing tears. Let the pit come out. And Holy Spirit, would you illuminate our mind of Christ? And right now, you, you see your mind light up in a glow, a radiant glow. There's like this beautiful light crown ignited around your head. And you're just honestly basking in it, basking in the glory.
And then with your inner spiritual eyes, you open them and you see that Jesus is sitting right in front of you, holding your hand, looking into your eyes. How does that feel? Take that moment in. He sees you. Some of you already have exactly what you have in mind that you are ready to give to him tonight. You already know this unhealthy habit that you thought was giving you something positive. Suddenly you've lost your taste for it. There is no desire for it anymore. Like, feel that. It's almost there's like a gag in your throat of like, <laughs> I can't believe. Like, Ew, I don't want this. This is not for me. This is for like a dead Lazarus self. Wow. You wake up. Wake up to who you are. It's like you've been asleep. Some of you haven't fully been asleep. Some of you have been awake, but he's turning up the color in your eyes. He's turning up the vibrancy for you to see even clearer in the spirit, for you to get even a more crystallized understanding of who he is, of what this life means and why it matters so much that you have a hunger for healing, a hunger for holy, a hunger for the harvest, a hunger for heaven, for your heavenly identity, for your heavenly purpose, for your heavenly destiny. And so you give it over to him, give it over. Is it a boy? Is it a grudge? Is it a past? Is it a regret? Is it a substance? Is it something you do in private that no one else knows about? You know what it is, he knows what it is, and he's, you've already given it to him. And you see it holding it in his hand, and he's like, I have something so much better for you in exchange. And you're like, oh, thank you, Lord. I would really love that. And he presents it to you. Notice what it is. And you ask him, Jesus, is this really going to satisfy me? I'm a little scared. I don't know what I'm going to do without these numbings, without these distractions. I'm a little afraid to really see myself this clearly. I'm afraid to be stripped naked. Will this really satisfy? And he says, take a sip. Why don't you taste and see? So whatever that thing was, take a sip. Taste and see that the Lord is good. You get this, um, it's like spirit comes over you. <laughs> you feel it all throughout your body. Like your body starts to ignite. Mm. Where there is a heaviness or a, mm. even just like a emptiness. It's starting to enliven. And he's like, I got you. Oh yeah, it'll satisfy. <laughs> I got you there. Just keep your eyes fixed on me. Can you do that? So fix your gaze on Jesus right now. 
is anything better? Is anything better? And he says, daughter, when you want to reach for that temporary pleasure, can you just come back to me? I am the bread of life. I am the living water. I quench your thirst so you will not be thirsty. What about this 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 dream, God? Is it is it even real? Is that even ever from you? Some of you actually might get a no tonight. Sometimes we get visions or dreams that look like God, but they're actually presented to us by the by an angel, a demonic angel, who presents as the angel of light. So ask yourself tonight, was this dream you gave me from you? Or did it look like you? The first word that pops in your head, if it's like a no, just no, go you, take it. Or if, a, if it's a, a little unclear, we'll just keep going. If it's a yes, it's time to lean in. God, what was it that made me lose my belief? that made me start to numb myself or distract myself, to live less than the worthiness of my calling. He brings up a memory or a season or a time in your life. And he says, what belief did you get about yourself during that time? Notice what comes up. Don't try to force it either. Just like whatever is popping into your mind, like take that first sort of like line or that sense and then let it flow. And how has this belief been harming you? You start to see this just montage of places or memories. And you, you you weren't even necessarily conscious of it. Like it's not like you were like, oh, I have this belief and now I'm gonna live out of the unhelpfulness of it. It's like things are illuminating to you right now for the first time. And you're starting to connect the dots. And so then you ask, Jesus, what do you want me to believe instead? He speaks it to you. You feel it, you hear it, you sense it. You believe it. For the first time tonight, you believe it. Yeah, that's right. That's res- that resonates. That's always been true. And the grave clothes continue to fall off of you. And you start to stand in the radiance of your resurrected self. Spirited, set apart, inspired, full of enthusiasm, filled with the divine. serene 
Mm, a serenity comes over your emotions. You start to imagine some of your trigger moments. Those trigger moments that come up through the day that really invoke the reactivity, the rage. You really don't like it. And then you see Jesus in that moment place his hand on your soul and a healing balm flows down through your emotions. It's like taking a it's like taking a Xanax, but it's in the spirit, it's from him, it's better, it's a healing. Because all those, that reactivity, it comes from your need to protect yourself. It comes from a frazzled nervous system. It comes from being tired. It comes from being worn out. It comes from feeling like you're not enough. Jesus is refreshing your soul. He is speaking enough into your soul. You are enough. You don't have to react here. You can pause. That's the true power move. You don't have to ruminate. You don't have to defend. So, those of you who are hurt right now, think of the people who have hurt you. Hold their faces in your mind. And in your mind say, I forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I forgive them. Just like the Lord's Prayer says, to forgive Forgive me, Father, as I forgive those who trespass against me. I will not take the bait of Satan. And give me my daily bread, the daily fulfillment that I need from you, God, and help temporary pleasures to lose their desire over me. I just thank you. No, no, no. I thank you that they've already lost. They've lost their luster. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself anymore. It no longer feels like deprivation. It feels like winning when I turn to you to get filled up instead. So God, thank you for the healing you've done in your daughter tonight. Thank you for the vision that you are um, crystallizing. And you can take the next minute or so to journal what came up for you. <laughs> 